So today, we will work on the JavaScript. First, let's select this password input box. It has the ID password. So open script.js and create a variable password input and use document.query selector to select the password. Then create another variable for the length of the password. So I will use password length and assign them to 16 for the time being. Then create another variable capital letters and add all the capital letters that will be used for the password. Add another variable small letters and add all the small letters. Add another variable number or let's say numbers. Then add all the numbers that will be used for the password. Again, create another variable symbols and add all the symbols that will be used for our password. Finally, let's create another variable all characters and assign them to capital letters plus small letters plus numbers plus symbols. Now let's log them in console. So I will use console.log all characters. Check the preview. Open dev tool and go to console. And now you can see all the characters that will be used for our password. Now let's create a function. Generate password. Inside this function, let's create a variable password and assign them to empty string. Then add a while statement. Inside the condition, add password length is greater than password dot length. Inside the while statement, you can add password plus equals all characters with the index number zero. I will update this index number a bit later, but for now, let's show this password in the password input box. So I will add password input dot value equals password. Now we have to call this function. So copy the function, go to index.html. In this button generate password, we have to use on click and paste the function. Now, when you click on the generate password button, since all character has got the index number of zero, it should show A. And since the length of password is 16, it should show 16A over here. Now, if I change the index number to one, this time it should show value B. And since the length of password is 16, it should show 16B. Instead of showing 0 or 1 or any other static index number, we need to use the dynamic one. We can use random number for example. If you want to learn how to generate random number, please check my previous videos. I have shared the link below. For now, let me add mat.floor mat.random into all characters dot lint. And that's all. This time, if you click on generate password button, it should generate random password for us. Great. When you click on this icon, it should select as well as copy the password. To do that, let's create another function. 
copy password then inside the function you can write password input dot select this will now help us to select the password over here let's call the function so copy the function go to index.html and inside the button add on click and paste the function now when you click on this icon it will select the password for us in order to copy them you can go back to script.js then you can write navigator dot clipboard dot write text and add password input dot value this time if you click on the icon it will select as well as copy the password you can now paste them anywhere I will simply paste them over here Great. This is the end of this final session. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions. Also please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to get more videos in the future. Thank you so much for choosing my YouTube channel to learn JavaScript project password generator. See you in my next video.